Good morning children. Today let us begin lesson number 3 inside the system unit. Children, as you can see the picture over here, the red arrow is showing the system unit. Now let us see what is a system unit. System unit is a box-like case that stands near the monitor and it protects all the internal electronic components from damage. It is also called the computer case or computer tower. Children, the electronic components are the most important part of computer and it resides inside the system unit. Other devices such as keyboard, mouse, monitor, printer, speakers normally occupy the space outside the system unit. Components inside the system unit. Now, we have seen system unit. Let us see what are the components inside the system unit? They are motherboard, CPU, RAM, disk drive and power supply. Children, let us study about motherboard. You can see the picture of motherboard over here. A motherboard is a large circuit board inside the system unit. It is also known as the system board or the main board. It contains many different types of chips and most important chip is microprocessor which we call as central processing unit that is the CPU. A motherboard is a large circuit board inside the system unit and it is also known as the system board or the main board. I have already told you that it contains different types of chips such as microprocessor which we call CPU. Now, let us study about CPU. Just like our own brain controls every part of our body, the computer also has a brain which controls every part of a computer. The CPU is the main brain of the computer, you can say, containing all the circuits needed to process, input, store data and output results. So, CPU is constantly following the instructions of a computer programs that tell it which data to process and how to process. Like the brain in our body tells us to do different things to do. Without a CPU, we cannot run programs on a computer. It will just like a box but with the CPU it can do different types of activities. For example, a simple calculator program might instruct the computer to take two numbers 2 and 3 and add them and send back the result as 5. Central processing unit that we call CPU in short consists of the following features. CPU is considered as the brain of the computer. So whenever we are saying brain of the computer, we are talking about CPU. CPU performs all types of data processing operations. 
it also stores data intermediate results and instructions it controls the operation of all the parts of the computer like our brain does for our body cpu itself has following three parts memory or storage unit control unit and alu alu here stands for arithmetic logic unit so children you can see in the picture here there is input unit and that means we are giving input to the computer and in the cpu what is happening memory unit is there control unit is there and arithmetic logic unit is there and with these units it is giving us the output i hope children you have understood the system unit motherboard and cpu thank you children